The Honourable Dato Dato Nasrun Dato Mansur, Deputy Minister of Plantation Industries and Commodities. Yang berbahagia Dato M Nagarajan, Secretary General of the Ministry of Plantation Industries and Commodities. Yang berhormat Dato Wira Ahmad Hamza, newly appointed Chairman of the Malaysian Palm Oil Board. Yang berbahagia Tan Sri Dato Dr Yusuf Baseron, Chief Executive Officer of the Malaysian Palm Oil Council. Dr Ahmad Kushari Din, the Director General of the Malaysian Palm Oil Board. Tan Sri Tan Sri Dato Dato. Honoured guests, distinguished speakers, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and welcome to the Palm Oil Trade Fair and Seminar of Ports Kuala Lumpur 2016. Let me first begin by thanking the Honourable Dato Dr. Nosrun, the Deputy Minister of Plantation Industries and Commodities, for being with us today to officiate this morning's event. Most of you are probably aware that MPOC organizes the port series regularly at various venues around the world. While other ports events are more of a regional ones, uh, whereby issues and challenges from the respective regions are discussed, Port Kuala Lumpur provides an overall perspective of the global oil and fats situation with a special emphasis on palm oil. And Ports Kuala Lumpur is usually the biggest ports event which befits Kuala Lumpur's status as the home city of this event. During the next two days, we, are pri we will be privileged to, have, we are privileged to have with us a team of respected and knowledgeable speakers who will share their views on specific subjects. A total of 18 papers will be presented on topics covering current issues surrounding palm oil, such as the market challenges and development, the weather scenario, nutritional attributes and applications of palm oil, as well as the market updates and price forecasts, which most people are interested in. There, also, there will also be regional workshop sessions led by the MPOC regional managers which will cover specific issues in the various key geographical market regions around the world. So in this regard, I wish to extend my heartfelt thanks to all the speakers for sharing their invaluable knowledge and expertise. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, palm oil constitutes 30% of the global oils and fats production and it plays a significant role in fulfilling the demand and requirements in the global oils and fats market. Global palm oil production has increased to about 61 million tons in the year last year, 2015, from a mere 21.6 million tons recorded in the year 2000, that means the start of the millennium, which reflects an impressive growth of 183% over that 15 period, 15 year period. Global palm oil export, which was recorded at only 15.2 million tons in that year, 2000, has more than tripled to 48.2 million tons in 2015, last year. Palm oil's versatility in its application to a wide range of food, industrial and energy products is a major factor driving this remarkable palm oil consumption growth. In the food industry, palm oil continues to feature strongly as highly affordable, nutritious and functional oil. The expansion in oleochemical applications has greatly enhanced palm oil demand and with the growing demand from the biodiesel sector worldwide, consumption of palm oil is set to increase in the future. Malaysia is a major supplier of palm oil and thus our role in the global oils and fats market is very important. The Malaysian palm oil industry has come a long way since our humble beginnings nearly a century ago. In fact, next year, 
we are going to celebrate 100 years of Malaysian palm oil. It's a very noteworthy milestone indeed. So through the years, we have weathered various obstacles and challenges that were thrown at, the, thrown at us. However, the Malaysian palm oil industry has managed to overcome the challenges through our good agronomic practices, our efficient processing and refining technologies, as well as our high value added downstream products. And today, Malaysia is rec recognized as a leader in palm oil research and I believe also in the palm oil downstream sector. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, over the next two days of ports, KL 2016, I encourage you to explore areas for further cooperation in the palm oil downstream industries, such as the in processed food, in biomass, animal feed, oleochemicals, and the latest sector, nutraceuticals. The trade exhibition the trade exhibition which is held concurrently is an effective avenue for the participating exhibitors to meet and inter interact with their counterparts, the suppliers, existing and potential buyers. It not only fosters relationships within the oils and fats industry, but also with the relevant policy and decision makers in the respective areas. So please do take time to visit the exhibition and interact among yourselves. Besides the regular paper presentations, we have also included the regional workshops, which will be conducted during the first half of the second day. The workshops are divided into three major regions, namely Asia Pacific and Indian subcontinent, second region, Americas and Europe, and lastly, the Middle East and Africa. Our MPOC regional managers from 10 overseas offices are here to conduct the workshops together, of course, with other speakers from those parts of the world. This will be a good opportunity for the participants to obtain the latest information and market trend analysis, which is specific to their regions of interest. As part of our effort to promote palm oil trade, a number of complementary programs have also been organized in conjunction with Ports KL 2016. For example, the Customers Appreciation and Recognition Scheme, or CARES, is a program to show our gratitude to the top Malaysian palm oil importers by bringing these buyers from various countries to Malaysia to update them on the latest developments in the industry. The Palm Oil Trade Awareness Program, or POTA, which is another program, provides the opportunity for potential users and the new buyers of Malaysian palm oil to better familiarize themselves about this golden oil. Before I conclude, on behalf of the organizers, the Malaysian Palm Oil Council, I would like to thank all our sponsors for their support, particularly our titanium sponsor, Saukra from Sarawak, and our platinum sponsors, Wilma and KL Kapong, perhaps. Last but not least, I thank all of you for participating in this event. I wish you all a productive seminar and fruitful follow-up discussions. Thank you.